Hey, Jack here from Dynamics. Today I'll be quickly running through a tutorial on how to use the RIB tool in SOLIDWORKS 2019. Here you can see we've got just a basic part with a 3mm wall section and what we want to do is create a bit more strength in the base of the part. Uh, firstly, uh, what we want to do is create a plane up to the height of the RIB that you want to create. So here I've created a plane uh, 10 mil from the base of the part. So you can see that there. Next, what we want to do is sketch on the plane. I'll get a better angle from the top and draw in where you want the ribs located. Uh, you don't actually have to draw uh, from each wall section. You can actually just draw um, within the confines of the wall section and the ribbing tool will actually uh, generate a rib all the way to the sides for you so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, I'm just haphazardly drawing these ribs here uh, just for this demo. Of course you'd want to evenly space them out to distribute the strength if you're doing this properly. Anyway, that's kind of my layout for the ribs. Uh, nextly, what you want to do is uh, clip the rib tool from the sketch and here uh, you get to type in the settings of your ribs. So the thickness of the rib from the center, uh, one mil, uh, and we are looking to put a draft on these ribs as well, just to make it easier when uh, we go to tooling uh, and for the part to be able to be ejected from the tool. Uh, so yeah, draft outward one degree, actually we'll change that to 1.5. Uh, and yeah, you should be good to go and the rib tool will generate those ribs. Uh, I've made sure that my rib is no more than two thirds the thickness of the wall section, which is three mil, and we've got 1.523. So that's uh, well under two mil. So we shouldn't get any sinking on the other side of the part. Uh, and that's it. If you wanna learn more, just send us an email uh, or give us a phone call. We're here to help. Dynamics, where ideas are molded by experience.